sit back, relax, and enjoy the program. Hello everyone, good morning, and welcome to another episode of my health, your health. I am Sanusi Rebecca Titilayo and I'm really excited once again to be live on this weekend at show. Uh, last week was awesome and this week will not be an exception because we're going to be discussing a very important topic. As I said, last week we're going to be discussing ice allergies and today we're going to be learning a lot and of course uh, we're going to be enjoying uh, the show on today's uh, program. So uh, we love you to introduce yourself on the comment box by dropping your response, say something, mention your name and where you are listening uh from your respect of whether you maybe even even if you are listening from in a class just say it's okay um Tijani Ayomide and I'm listening from Ogo State I'm presently in a class <laughs> whichever way you want to do it but anyway uh you're welcome to the show and I'm really excited to be live on the show today. So we need you to drop your red spot. I need you to, uh, you know, to introduce yourself on the comment box. Okay, so first off, I have an advert here. Uh, T-Talk Show actually helps advertise business and services on our show. So if you want me to advertise your business on my show, it's very important that you reach out to me on my number on the comment box, 081 And also, if you like to be a part of my show, maybe you want to be a guest or maybe you want to come be a guest and talk about your business on my show you can still reach out to me on my number uh the comments box so i'm so happy to have you join me on the show today okay first of all i have a very very uh I have a giveaway on the show today. I have a giveaway. Uh, if you're live with me on the show, I have a giveaway for you. And, um, okay, what you will do for me is that uh, if you look at where you are presently, that page that you have, you will see the, uh, you see like, you see a love symbol. Underneath, you see edit. Underneath, you see download. Okay? Beside it, you will see, uh, beside it, you will see uh, the Facebook logo. And beside the Facebook logo, you see the Twitter logo. Okay, so I will need you to help me share it on. <laughs> you just share, just share on your Facebook or your Twitter or both. Share on both, actually. Yes, yeah, share on both. Screenshot it and send it to me on my number to get your giveaway. Uh, yes, it's on the comment box. Click on the logo showing Facebook or Twitter. Just check, you see it now. Share the post on any of these social media platforms, screenshot and send it to my number 081 and get your giveaway. So this giveaway is for everyone. If you are able to do that, you will definitely get your giveaway on the show today. Okay, uh, quickly, I'd like to go to the fun facts about health. Every uh, show, we uh, give us tips, uh, we give us fun facts about health and today will not be an exception okay so you see it on the comments box now uh the fun fact about it for this week uh it says uh smelling rosemary can increase alertness and memory smelling no no smell uh, rosemary uh, that flower that beautiful flower uh it says when you smell it it can actually increase uh, your alertness and your memory so uh if you have a test going on for a test an exam or you're preparing for an exam an interview and you read it and show you <laughs> get a rosemary uh flower just smell it and uh, because of the smell oh wow that's uh, that's so funny uh you know you uh your alertness will increase then your memory uh will be increased so I love us to try that out wherever we find ourselves. So please and please give away. <laughs> Click on the logo showing Facebook or Twitter. Share the post on any of the social media platform. Screenshot it and send it to my number at 08146 to get your giveaway. Okay, we'll take a short break now. And when I'm back, I'll be back with my guest, Dr. Famo Kumwa Ayotune, as we discuss the uh, topic, ice allergy. Don't go away, please. I 
Hello friends, good e good morning and welcome once again to another episode on My Health, Your Health. Last week we discussed eye care and today we'll be discussing eye allergies. And of course, I told us last week that I'll be having a guest on the show today. And today with me is Dr. Famo Kumo Ayomide. He's a clinical student at Obafemi Aulawa University. And he's currently a student doctor at Tokyo Hospital, Ogun State. I'm so privileged to have him joining me on the show today as we discuss this topic, eye allergy. Dr. Famo Kumo, you are welcome to the show, sir. Okay. Um. Good. Good morning, everybody. It's so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay. Okay. Uh. It's glad. It's good having you too on the show, sir. Okay. So, sir, we are discussing eyes allergies. What exactly is eyes allergy, and is eyes allergy linked to what we eat? Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Before I before I proceed, I would like to make a quick a point for you. Okay. I'm not famous. I'm famous more. Oh, okay. So thank you very much for oh, that. Okay. So yes, back to the topic we are discussing, eye allergy. Yeah, eye allergy. Before I go to what eye allergy is, so let me just mention, just say some some simple stuff about allergy generally. So allergy refers to a, a let's say a response or a reaction of the body of the immune system in the body to a foreign substance. Okay. That's it, allergy, and usually. When we say the immune system, the immune system is that part of the body that is responsible for helping the body to fight against germs, against infections, and, um, and diseases, and other foreign agents. Mm -hmm. So now, allergy is that abnormal reaction of the body, in, or, or abnormal reaction of the immune system in response to a foreign substance, or oh. sometimes, in few cases, in response to something that is made in the body. So okay. now, when we now say eye allergy, or eye allergy, eye allergy refers to the reaction of the eyes. Okay. The forming agent caused by the immune system inside the body. Okay, okay. So, so the, yeah. Okay, so uh, and yes, you asked the question that is it related to food? Yeah. Yeah. So, I allergy generally allergy is is caused by allergens, okay. and allergens can also be food. Allergens are the, the things that trigger allergy. They are the things that cause allergy to come out. Like that, things that make us see the signs and symptoms of allergy. Allergy generally is a chemical, is a biochemical process that occurs in the body, like I said, for due to the overreaction of the immune system to a foreign body. Okay. And I don't want to explain too many chemical, too many medical things here, but okay. it can be caused by food substances. Okay, okay. Okay, good to know about that. Okay, um, so um, based on what you said, you said it's a, it's actually the reaction of the eyes to foreign substances. So please, what are those foreign yes, substances yes. that can cause uh these eyes allergies? That the eyes can be can come okay. in contact with okay. that can cause eyes allergies. Okay. 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 Thank you very much for that question. So, like I said before, it is the reaction of the eyes to foreign substances. And I said in some few cases, maybe the substances also made it because. Okay. But in most cases, the foreign substance. Okay. So the things that can actually cause allergy are things that the body reacts to. Now, one thing to note is that the fact that something is an allergen to a person A doesn't mean it to be an allergy to person B. In wow. fact, allergens or triggers for allergies can be, most people will not, will not be triggered by an allergy. Only some few subsets of people will be triggered by an allergy and usually it may be it may be family, it may be one in the family. So sometimes the common allergies we have, there are some few food substances like maybe peanuts, that's granite, okay. commonly the white, and maybe common to other people, pollen grain, um ganda, some perfume scents, okay. and some maybe shea, spots, and other animal uh droppings can make the reaction, can cause eye allergy. And when we say eye allergy, a common way to, because a lot of people will be wondering, what do I mean by eye allergy? Do I have it? It is just when somebody sees something or when something falls on the person's body or face or nose, and then all of a sudden you see the person start eating his eyes and then 
in a few seconds to minutes, the eyes are already red. Both oh. eyes are already red. Okay. So that's an allergic reaction. Okay. And the way you know it's an allergic reaction is every time that person comes in contact with that allergy, that trigger, it mm. happens. The mm. person will start you know, squeezing the eyes or starts rubbing the eyes or the face and opens the eyes, look at the eyes, the eyes, they are already red. So that's an allergic reaction. And medically, we say it is allergic conjunctivitis. Okay. And commonly, you see such people having running nose, and they may even have some raisins on their skin. We call it eyes. It looks okay. like pimples on their skin. So that's mm -hmm. an allergic reaction. Okay. So in the case of the eyes, we call it allergic conjunctivitis. Okay, okay. Wow. Thank you so Thank much you. for that explanation. Okay, sir, so, uh, the other time you yeah. were talking about uh, some foreign uh, allergies and you mentioned uh, what the major, the common one is peanuts. And um, from research yes, yes. that I did last week as regarding eye care, I saw that I, uh, this peanut actually contains uh, omega-3 fatty acid that is actually needed for the eyes. Yes, so yes. Uh, can we say that now that uh, peanuts can actually cause eye allergy, what's your suggestion for people? Maybe they should find a supplement that contains the uh, nutrients or what will you say as okay. regarding that? Okay, yeah. yeah. That's a very nice uh, observation. Now, the thing is, the fact that peanuts contains... Okay, let me start. Let me take from this angle. The fact that peanuts an, an, may be an allergy, okay. just like I said, doesn't mean everybody will react to the allergy in peanuts. Oh, okay. Out of 100 people, we may have like maybe 5 or 10 reacting to peanuts in okay. Africa here. Maybe among the whites, you may have more common cases of people reacting to peanuts as an allergy. Okay. Causing, uh, conjunctivitis or uh, that's allergic conjunctivitis. Mm. So, most people it wouldn't. Now, in, the, in, in, the, in such a case where it does cause allergy, allergy Peanuts is not the only source of omega-3. It's just one of the sources. And then you don't even get so much omega-3 fatty acids from peanuts. There are many other sources. Our common oil, the common oil we use in cooking, we have mm. omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. So not taking peanuts doesn't mean we are into the deficiency of omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. So can you actually... Uh, recommend to people now based on your explanation that it's actually important that everyone recognize what is actually causing allergies so that they can actually avoid them since there are different triggers okay. to different persons okay yes yes concerning that okay just like i pointed out before one one of the persons we should recognize is that out of out of 10 people or out of 100 people we won't have 90 people having allergies okay we have like almost 10 in some few cases, maybe in some areas where it is common, we may have like 20. So we may have 10 people having allergies. Now, when you see somebody having allergies, do not make fun of them. Don't think it's a disease. It may not even be communicable. Mm. So long as it is not measles or it is not the popular one we call Apollo. Okay. Apollo is actually, is actually conjunctivitis. Now, what we call Apollo sometimes may be an allergic reaction. Okay. And it may not be an allergic reaction. It may be an infectious uh, disease. That is a viral conjunctivitis. So if it's not viral, it's most likely allergic. Okay. So in such a case, we need to know which is which. And the way it will occur, if it comes up every now and then, then you know that, okay, this is allergic reaction. Now, the triggers, people have to, people that have allergies should know what triggers the allergy. Okay. For most people, it's the same thing that triggers allergic conjunctivitis, that is eye allergy, that will trigger their, that will trigger asthma. It's also almost the usual same things that trigger uh, them and then they start having running nose. Mm. So it is more common to find this eyes allergy in people that are asthmatic or people that have atopic dermatitis. They will have a lot of pimple like swellings on their body. Okay. So the common triggers include dust, okay. in some cases, perfumes or scented uh, soaps or body creams, then pollen grains, spots, then animal hair. So such people that have allergic uh, rhinitis or allergic conditions.